Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the third part of our Central Coast Vacation vlog series. It is uh, our last three days here. We are in Avila Beach right now as we're sitting here. I'll show you the ocean right now. There it is. We are doing some work on the pier. You used to be able, when we first started coming here back in 2007, you could go all the way out to the pier. There's like a little area out there where you could like go under the pier and it was really cool but it has closed for repairs. It's been closed for a few years at this point. So they're actually working on it right now. You can see the little truck out there. And dogs are allowed on the beach until 10 a.m. So there's a cute puppy coming. We'll see if they come over here. But this is Avila Beach. We found this back in 2007 because we were living in Los Angeles and they needed a pharmacist up here in Slow County for the weekend for Christmas. And I was like, I will be that pharmacist, thank you. And that's how we found it, so. We are here today. We got here yesterday, we're here today. And then tomorrow we head down south to Solvang. And we'll be in Solvang for two days and then we leave Sunday, so. Having a great time but winding down and not the worst thing because I miss my Layla Grace so much. Oh man, his dad just called his dog over and was like, don't bother that lady. No, come bother this lady, please.
come back up this at the end. It's not going to be super fun. <laughs> so. Sweet. So just cool. make sure you're back here by 4:45. Okay. So this is where you check in. You check in here, and then we start down the trail. We got our little picture of our map. We know where we're headed, and we got about two and a half miles to go out and then back. All right, so here we have the first sea cave. I'll try to zoom it in for you. Let's see if you can see that. So you can see we can't get into it right now because the tide is in. The tide is headed out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to come back here on the way. This is an out and back. We're gonna try to come back here on the way back when it should be. We can see a little bit further into it. So not that we wanna go in too far because danger, danger, but just to get a little closer look. This is the sinkhole. It used to be a cave. The roof caved in. And now we have this amazing sinkhole where the water comes in and it's super cool. All right, we just saw a whale come up. So this is their time of year where they're doing them little whale things out there. I don't know if we'll see it now that I have the camera on it, of course. Oh, wait, over there. You see one? They move up the coast in the summertime in like April and May. If you go to the lighthouse, um, if you go to Pedras Blancas Lighthouse, they will have the whale counters from Cal Poly there. And they'll point them out to you. All right, I think I see a bubby over here. Let's see. Kind of learned what they look like when they come up. But from this distance, of course I'm Mr. Magoo in it hardcore here. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Like if you were on the water, you could see, because like the other little animals that are near them will come up first and then the whales will come up. This is how it was, the Channel Islands similar whales I'm guessing. No, we're not gonna get them. That was really cool. This couple was walking by and they're like, we just saw a whale. And so we did too. And now who knows where they are, but we saw them. It's really cool. All right, and now we are at Point Bouchon. This is the point for which the trail was named. Point Bichon. There. You can see behind us is like the volcanic plugs. Let's take a Okay. We have arrived at Disney Point, which was the site where they filmed some of the movie Pete's Dragon, which I loved as a kid. I have no idea what the plot of it is now, as you asked me as an adult. But I remember like wearing the VHS tape out. So I believe they built a fake lighthouse here for the filming, if I am correct. I will, uh, is that true? Yeah. Okay, husband fact check me, we're good, yes. This is the view from Lookout Point on this little outcropping here. Uh, so cool. And this is why we did this hike, okay? Do you see out there? Let's see if I can point to it. Where's my hand? Where's my hand? There's my hand. That is Diablo Canyon. We could have seen Diablo Canyon from the other side, and it would have been really easy to see it because it's right off the road. But you couldn't see this part of it because this part's on the water. It's a nuclear power plant on the Pacific Ocean over here. I want to say it's the only one in California now that's in functioning business, but uh, it's right off of Avila Beach. It's actually, if 
you go past Avila Beach towards the port, which I'll show you tomorrow, we're gonna go, well, I'm gonna go for sure, and my husband's gonna come with me or not, uh, see the sea lions, I'll show you that. And you'll be able to see the entrance to it. But this, I've never seen it, this part of it, because this part is blocked completely from the other area. So this is so exciting. There's the Pacific Ocean, and there's the nuclear power plant. I'm so happy right now. It's right, can you see it? Where's my hand? Why is this so hard? Right there, there's the towers there. One other thing I did wanna point out if you do this trail is when you get to, so this is Windy Point. It's a little bit longer, I think, because we've like taken little side quests and stuff to see stuff, but there is a bathroom up there. I don't know if a little shed next to it is, but that's Porto up there. So this is about, for us, it was about three miles, including all the little stops that we did. So this will give you an idea here. You can see this is like the massive mountain that we are on that goes down to the ocean. So definitely worth the hike out here. Now you can continue on past this even further, and maybe you can get a better view of the um, power plant. But we didn't want to go too much farther because number one, I'm starving. And number two, it is taking up most of our day. It's about a 40 minute drive from Avila Beach, about 30-ish minutes from Slow, and so we have to get back. And then we have like dinner reservations and I'd like to taste some wine today if we could. In a way, we didn't plan this like the best timing wise, not thinking about how long it was, but in the, in the time restrictions, because it's only open between, right now is the summer season, so it's only open between eight and five. So the earliest you could get here is eight, and you have to be out by 4.45. So that's part of the issue. The other part is that you, we want to go see the sea cave at the end here, which is actually where we started. And we chose to finish with it because of the tide. So you have to look at the tide schedules. Hi, husband. If you want to visit the sea cave. All right, so this is the sea cave. Technically, probably I could go a little bit closer. I'm not super into that idea because I am a runner, not a triathlete. And the reason I have never pursued a triathlon is the swimming portion of it. But, uh, oh, here we are. Woo. Yeah, see it's, oh, that feels good though. <laughs> you can always tell you're dehydrated when you go through a stream crossing and you're like, that feels amazing. But here it is, that's the sea cave from down here at the ocean level. There's husband back on the shore. He was like, uh, he didn't do stream crossings. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh, that one got me. <laughs> we made it. So this is where we are, to give you an idea. Montana de Oro State Park has all these trails. So this is actually on private property. And I always love this creepy siren info sign. Like, I hope we never need it, but it's cool. Fish friend. He's been telling us about wines for 17 years. <laughs> Hi, Bubby. Look at all these little fishy bubbies. in the front here. What are these sounds we're making, hmm? <laughs> oh, there's two more people coming over to help you. Oh my goodness, you sillies. Here we are on the pier. The sea lions, who were a recent addition of the last few years, they weren't here before on this little raft. And now they live their best life. 
Did they make this boat just for you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Hi, cutie pie. Oh my goodness. You're going to knock the boat over, sweetie. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. Look at you posing. Uh huh. Oh my goodness, I can't deal. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh oh. <laughs> This one is so huge. He's like twice the size of some of these smaller ones. But they're all sleeping. Oh my god, they're so freaking cute. This one pet them all. Oh my goodness. So this is Diablo Canyon where we were yesterday. Where we could see the power plant yesterday that I was so excited about. This is all you can see. And there's like beautiful mountain here. But that's the entrance, obviously. <laughs> Private property, but uh, they do tours, so I am going to look into when those happen because I would love to do a tour. I've been obsessed with this place <laughs> for like 10 years. Babies. Hello, look at your face. Oh my goodness, I promised husband I wouldn't look too long at the goats. Tell me. You're so cute. Look how fluffy you are. You're a fluffy monster today. Uh oh, we got a goat up on a thing over here. Coming up. Look at all the goats. Look at the babies. This is a rooftop Ralph. It's not just a clever name. Look at him. Look at you. You're so cute. Okay, bye. Okay, I see you too. Hi. Look at these little gray ones. Oh my goodness. so many great options. There's jams, jellies, dips, barbecue sauces, rubs for your food, like so many things. All kinds of fresh produce. They have their own homemade popcorn. They have like a little stand that does corn on the cob. Um, they have goats and cows and they had pony rides today, I think. All kinds of stuff, uh, but it's amazing. And there's all kinds of like cute little like, I don't know, home decor things that I love and like kitchen stuff and it just you could spend all day walking around there so we always stop in there that's where we just went very briefly because we have an appointment for a tasting at uh, Sausalito Canyon here so we're gonna do that we really didn't do very many tastings yesterday the timing was just kind of a mess because we went and did that long hike and we had to go like in the middle of the day to get the tides right so things were kind of like backwards yesterday but dinner at the oyster loft was amazing every single thing we got at the oyster loft was so not that it ever isn't but so good and we had ordered the beef tataki and he misunderstood and thought we said the beets so he brought us the beets and i was like oh my goodness we said beef and he said oh I'll get rid of these and i was like just put them on our bill we'll eat them 
I said, I'm Ukrainian, I'll never say no to beets. And they were so good, so now we have to get those every year too. So anyway, and then um, this morning I went for my run. Not feeling great after my run, and I think it's because, whoa. I think it's because I'm dehydrated, so I'm gonna work on the hydration today. We're gonna see if the puppy's in, I don't know, if she's here today or not. But pulling into Sausalito Canyon, I will show you what we're tasting. checked in to the Hotel Cork. Welcome to our room. So, I don't know, it was like the same price to get a suite this year as a regular, so we stay here. We've been staying here the last few years consistently. Look at the space here. Like, there's so much room for activities. We can do like gymnastics here. All right, but anyway, so this is their like traditional colors that they have in all their rooms. It's this like purple wine. Look at this, we got this bathroom in here. The like bathroom bathroom is in its own little like thing here, right there. And then we have bathtub, shower, beautiful sink area. So I can actually like do a skincare routine. That's me, hi. And let me come in here, I got the king size bed, which is, these beds are so comfy. Got a whole ass desk here, very nice. And then we have our balcony. Okay, oh, and then we have also this couch here. If you wanna sit and relax on the couch. There's the TV. Last time we stayed here, there was like a Van Damme movie marathon on. It was terrific. Let me go out here. And, oops, did I lock it? There we go. Hope there's two doors. Oh, we can keep it open at night, even better. And there's the view of the mountain. We have like room for 700 friends. And then there's the pool. And you better believe my ass is gonna be in that hot tub before you know it, so. Oh, I wish we had more than just a day and a half here. It's so pretty here. We are, it is kind of hot up here, so I don't think I'll be sitting out. Like the ground is kind of hot to stand on there. I don't think I'll be sitting out there in the afternoon, but uh, right now I might just take a nap. But this is our space. Final two nights of the trip. Husband is packing up our wine to take it to the shipper. I'm gonna probably just take a nap, chill out for an hour before dinner. Hello, we've made it. We checked into our hotel, as you saw, it's gorgeous. We had just a little bit of time and now it's time for dinner at the Hitching Post, which is old timey, but our favorite place to get the garlic. And I'll show you the garlic when we get it, it's so good. But, and they have, da -da 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 -da, relish please.
Christensen with us. Does anybody have a question that they would like to ask? They look like dachshunds, but they're supposed to be dragons with big floppy ears. And uh, those are their tails that make this fire. So that was. Good morning, everybody. It's the last day of the trip. Oh, I miss my dog, so I'm happy, but that's not a space, is it? It was. Oh, boy. Jack. So we're trying to do a tasting at Ganey. I don't know if we're going to be able to get in. If we can, can I, park here? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think we're going to be able to get in right now because it is like really way more crowded than expected. But if nothing else, I have a gift card because we're members here. So we had breakfast at Brecky's, got a nice start sitting out on the porch this morning on the, the balcony, looking at the sun come up and the beautiful skyline. There's a dog rolling on the grass, having the best time over there. So we're gonna try to see if we can get in for tasting. If not, I do need to get a couple things from their shop here. So we'll just get that and then make another plan. But it's Memorial Day weekend. Things are gonna be kind of crazy. We didn't really know what we wanted to do, so we didn't have a total plan, but Got a good breakfast at Brecky's. I went to the little bookstore in town and saw, I don't know why I've never been there. It's adorable and now I have to go every year. So I've got some books to read in the hot tub later and it's gonna be a good day. It's the last day. Bittersweet, but it's gonna be good. night. This is our final night on vacation. We are here at AJ's Burgers because I am obsessed with their soup. It is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I can't say no to it. So we're going here for soup appetizer before dinner.
thanks, husband. Two bottles of wine for $40. There's my buffalo. Love him. Hello everybody. We're here at El Capitan State Beach here and we're gonna try to see the sunset and walk on the little trail here that goes along the ocean. Oh, the sun is starting to set. It's about quarter to eight. I think sunset's 8.10 down here at the coast. So had a great dinner. Highly recommend SY Kitchen in Santa Ynez. And then we stop back at the hotel so I can get a sweatshirt because <laughs> it's a little chilly down here. And we're gonna head out on the trail and just do a little walk, get a little bit of steps and fitness, and I'll show you the beach here. 